Hello there, Debbie. Hello, Gordon. Uh, welcome to Lightspeed English. Thank you for doing this interview. You're welcome. Um, Debbie, could you start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Y yes. What yes. would you like to know? Okay, Debbie. For example, um, where do you live? Okay. Well, I live in the northeast of England. Right. Okay. In which in a, part? In a village mm -hmm. called Witton. Right. And is it a big village? No, not really. No, quite small, really. What's the population? Um, there are about po possibly 40 people. Oh, right. So very small, yeah? No, not that small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, do you live alone or do you live with somebody? No, I have a partner right. and a dog. A partner and a dog? Yes. Okay. And your partner, what's his name? His name is Jeff. Jeff. So, what do you do in terms of work? I'm a salesperson and I work from home and I also travel and drive around the country to visit customers. Okay, and what do you sell? I sell um, products related to payroll. Okay. So, if a company has employees and they want to, and they are paying them, they send us their payroll data every month, every week, um, depending on how often they pay them, and the pay slips for each employee are loaded onto an internet site, and the employees then look at their pay slips on the internet. Okay, all right. So that's your um, daytime job, yes. and then what about your hobbies? What do you do outside of when you're not working? Um, I learn Spanish. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Solo un poco. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Hablo un poquito, uh -huh. um, and um, I have a dog. I enjoy mm -hmm. walking the dog, and um, I take care of my neighbour's dog because he's very old and he's too old to walk the dog. So mm -hmm. I I walk my dog and his dog every okay. day. Okay, mm, nice. Um, and then your partner Jeff. What yes. what does Jeff do? Um, he owns his own company, mm -hmm. and he. Um, is a trade supplier, so he has a big warehouse and he stocks lots of different products and he sells a lot of them on the internet um, All right. by eBay yeah. and Amazon. Okay, okay. And how long has he been in that kind of work? Uh, I would say now 10 years, right. approximately. Okay. Debbie, um, you mentioned that you work from home. Yes. Yeah. And this Certainly in the UK, working from home is more and more common for people to, you know. Yeah. Um, what do you think are the benefits of working from home and the, so the pluses and the minuses of working from home? I've worked from home for about 18 years now. Right. When I'm not visiting customers. Mm -hmm. And the benefits are that I can wear what I want. Mm -hmm. um, I can organise my day. I don't have people coming to talk to me um, unnecessarily, yeah, so yeah. I can organise my, my time and how I work. The, I suppose if you work in an office, if you're not having a, good, a very good day, you've got people to go and speak to directly, sure. whereas sometimes if, if things to do with my work are not going well, when you're at home, Talking to somebody on the phone isn't the same. Right, yeah, yeah. You can't go and have a coffee with somebody and just have a, have a quick chat. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're in an office, that's, that's, it's helpful to do that. Yeah, for sure, that, that human contact. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. But I, I prefer to work from home. Okay. Would you say it's, it's more beneficial than it is kind Definitely. of negative? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, okay. And have you ever um, pretended to be working and doing something else, Debbie? Of course not. No. <laughs> of course not. Okay. No. no, I think in reality a company a company benefits more from people who work from home mm -hmm. because you get more work done in the time that you work. Yeah, yeah. And I work longer hours, definitely. Sure, sure. I would guess so. And also they don't have to pay for your office. No, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay. All right, excellent. Um, now, on an, another part of your life is that you have a property in 
uh, whereabouts L is Lanzarote. it? In Lanzarote. Yes. Yeah. How long yeah. have you had a house there? Um, this year it will be eight years. Eight years. Yes. Okay, and do you get a chance to to go there often? Yeah, absolutely. How often do you go? Normally, um, four times four times each year. Right. Okay. And when the house isn't being uh, occupied by yourselves, what happens to it? Yeah, um, my family, friends, um, and we have guests that use the house. Right. Okay. So, so we rent rent the house. Okay. Yeah. It, renting out a house there it, is it something that would make you a profit or is no. It, no 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 it's we decided to buy the house because we spent a lot of time on the island mm -hmm. and we wanted somewhere that we could go that we we knew what we were going to get when mm -hmm. we got there um, and also my family liked to use the house as well okay but no there's no big profit right okay yeah. Um, it's just an actual benefit of having a house yes. that you can go to. Yes. Mm. Debbie, where are you from? Originally, yeah. um, England, from Sheffield. Sheffield. Whereabouts yes. is Sheffield in England? Sheffield is um, in the Midlands, so the middle middle of England. Okay, okay, so in the Midlands, yeah. You're, although you have a, a trace of, of the accent, yes. your accent isn't strong. No. Yeah? No. Can you do a strong Sheffield accent? Oh, I can do a very strong Sheffield accent. Give us an example, just for, so people can understand the difference between what a real Sheffield accent is like. You were telling I'm me... Just trying to, I'm just trying to think of a correct... of something that would be a saying, that, that a phrase that would be different. Um, how are you is okay. correct English. Yeah. In Sheffield, somebody with a very broad... Sheffield accent would say, you're right. You're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's very similar, yeah. yeah. Um, to, similar to some other areas when yes. you say, you're right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, right, so what's, what are your plans for the future then? Do you think you'll end up in Lanzarote? Maybe. Maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I would like to live if possible, depending on money, for mm -hmm. part of the year in England and part of the year in Lanzarote. Right, okay. That would be good. So when Jeff's rich and famous? When Jeff is rich, famous and retired. Okay, will that ever happen? <laughs> Possibly not. <laughs> <laughs> we just, we'll just have to wait to see, yeah? Oh yes, <laughs> maybe, maybe in 20 years. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so it's not an imminent thing, no? no? No, no. Certainly not going to happen in the near future. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Debbie. That's great. Thanks. You're very welcome. We'll see you again. Adios. Adios.